The Berserker Predator, also referred to as Mr. Black, is the leader of the Super Predator clan who are responsible for abducting humans and other creatures from their home worlds and dropping them by parachute onto the game preserved planet as game to be hunted for sport. Berserker stands over 7 feet in height with greyish beige skin and black dreadlocks with red tips at the ends. He wears copper coloured armour and has the more traditional design of mask but adorned with the jawbone of a creature he'd previously hunted, possibly of some significance, perhaps from a rite of passage similar to how some predators must hunt a xenomorph to prove themselves and will mark their mask with its blood. Although the Necker figure does state that he has hunted Xenomorphs before, so it is down to your own interpretation whether or not this is canon to his story. Being a super predator, and the only one seen unmasked in the movie, he has a different facial structure to the classic predators, with a more streamlined forehead and swept-back dreadlocks, and also larger mandibles of a different shape. As well as possessing incredible strength, agility and intelligence, for weaponry, Berserker has two weapons, a single elongated wrist blade located on his right wrist gauntlet, able to extend to approximately 3 feet or 1 meter in size, and a unique plasma caster with a spinning barrel, which allows for a greater rate of fire. In addition, he also uses snare traps. Berserker is shown to be very skilled with his weapons, as he's seen to dispatch enemies with little effort, seeing that it's explained to us that the super predators learn from their prey, it's possible that Berserker took inspiration when crafting his weaponry from past prey that he'd hunted before, as his long single wrist blade bears a vague resemblance to a samurai sword, one of the other humans finds, showing that predators have hunted ancient Japanese warriors in the past, as well as his plasma caster working similarly to a minigun which we see another member of the group Nikolai having, so it's possible they've hunted other soldiers equipped with similar weaponry before. A cruel, merciless and sadistic hunter, Berserker does not follow traditional warrior code, instead opting to attack whenever he has the advantage, even if the prey are unable to fight back and not bothering to remove his mask or weaponry for an even fight if his prey is smaller and weaker than he is. This Yaoja is the leader of a trio of super predators consisting of himself and two others, Falconer and Tracker with the former acting as a scout for the group, employing a robotic drone to scan the area ahead, and the latter member being the handler of the predator dogs, also known as the hellhounds. These are used for flushing prey out of hiding. Together, they would kidnap the most dangerous creatures they could find from many different worlds and drop them onto the game preserve planet in order to seek their thrills and put their skills to the test. After dropping the humans onto the planet including Royce, a mercenary who became the group's leader, Berserker and his hunting party used the hounds to flush out and distract them while they captured and killed one of their other members, an enforcer of a Mexican drug cartel, using him as bait to lure in the others, leading them into a trap by placing his body in a clearing and surrounding it with snares, while playing back a recording of the man calling out for help. However, they saw through the attempt and didn't take the bait. Later, the humans stumbled upon the predator's camp, discovering the crucified predator and fleeing the scene after the super predators appeared and killed another one of their members, Mombasa. After escaping, the group came across another man named Nolan, who'd been abducted years earlier and had survived by hiding and scavenging. He led them back to his shelter inside a huge abandoned alien drilling machine and attempted to kill them for their equipment. During the commotion, the tracker predator was drawn to the hideout and killed Nolan. The super predator then attacked Nikolai, but was killed as well when he detonated a claymore mine. When the humans escaped the rig, they were ambushed by Berserker outside who shot Stans, supposedly killing the convict, but he'd put on some body armour he'd found and jumped onto Berserker attacking him, buying the remaining humans time to escape before Berserker shook him off and ripped out his skull and spine. 
While he healed himself, Berserker sent his remaining subordinate Falconer after them, who fought Hanzo in a one-on-one -on -one duel, which ended with them both killing each other, leaving Berserker as the last Super Predator. Catching up to the humans, Berserker captured Edwin and Isabel and threw them into a pit. He then saw that Royce had cut down the crucified Predator in exchange for activating the ship to take him back to Earth. Berserker and Crucified Predator fought each other, and despite being weakened and malnourished, the classic Predator fought hard, but ultimately Berserker was the victor and killed him. After killing the Crucified Predator, Berserker saw Royce escaping in the ship and activated its self-destruct, but it turned out he didn't board the ship and instead opted to turn back and save the others first. Edwin's reason for being abducted with the others turned out to be because he was a murderer and then tried to attack Royce and Isabel, but Royce turned the tables on him and injured him, then used him as bait to lure in the Berserker Predator. Berserker found Edwin, but he had some grenades rigged to him which exploded and sent Berserker flying. Royce then lit a ring of fire around them, making it difficult for Berserker to see him. With the Super Predator stunned and unable to see, the human was able to take control of the fight, but Berserker changed his vision mode and was able to see again and then turned the tide back in his favour. But just before he could finish Royce off, Isabel reached her sniper rifle and shot the Predator, dropping him to his knees. His strength returning, Royce regained his weapon and continued his attack, cutting off one of his arms and knocking off the biomask, revealing the Yauja's hideous face. Then with one final motion, Royce cuts off the Berserker's head and his body slumps to the ground. The Super Predator trio are no more and Royce and Isabel are the lone survivors, left to find another way off the planet. I thought the Berserker was an interesting Yautja with a cool design, and some say he is what's known as a bad blood, meaning when a Yautja doesn't follow the honour code and is exiled from the Predator society, kind of like a criminal or an outcast. With the Super Predators being a new species we hadn't seen before, it gave the filmmakers a chance to give us something new and makes us wonder what the Predator will look like when he unmasks himself again, which is a staple of Predator movies. When we get to see the Predator's face behind the mask, something done again in Prey later on. While the original design will always be my favourite, I do appreciate them adding some of that mystery back to what's behind the mask. I first watched Predators back in 2010 when it first came out on Blu-ray, and I remember thinking it was an okay film at the time, not bad but not perfect either, but I did enjoy it overall. If you'd like to hear more of my thoughts on the movie itself, I'll have that video on screen now for you. Make sure you click the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one, then why not leave me a comment saying what you liked about the Super Predators and the Predators movie. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.